So Hoddle can try now from the other side, changing the angle here. Watson's in, Butch is there, and Lineker's also there! And Gary Lineker puts England ahead after 33 minutes. Phil Hughes, Gary Lineker, top goal scorer in the World Cup Finals, pounces here, Butcher first, then Lineker, Hodge, that's a nice break, good save by Hughes, Beardsley, deflection, and driven in by Chris Waddle. Unlucky Phil Hughes, good early save, but Waddle took the opportunity when it was offered, and England a two up. It was nicely done by Steve Hodge initially, Hughes saved well coming off his line, Beardsley followed up, a deflection, and Waddle drove it into the side the goalkeeper was coming from. Good finish. England lead 2-0, and Glenn Hoddle is in there again. And there goes Lineker. That's a lovely effort, and a fine goal. Beautifully taken. And the Beardsley-Lineker combination works again. Lineker's second of the match. Phil Hughes beaten by a classic goal. Glenn Hoddle takes marks for winning it in midfield. Peter Beardsley saw the possibilities, but Gary Lineker, holding off McClelland, chipped the goalkeeper magnificently. So, it's two for Lineker. This is Lineker's 14th goal in 19 internationals. almost lost his voice in fact he's on antibiotics and Peter Beardsley today has the makings of a cold. The Yugoslavs meanwhile are rebuilding their side after they failed to qualify for the Mexico World Cup. Instantly three of their players are with French clubs this season. The Vojevic brothers, Zoran the fullback and Zlatko the captain and striker are identical twins. So England get this European Championship match underway in white shirts attacking the goal to our right against a Yugoslav whose nation has never won here in Britain. Valjic, the fullback, aiming to make something on the break all the time. Vojevic there, oh, and he's got past Mark Wright. There's a great shard wall here for England, but Woods did well. And Wright then concedes the free kick. It was a bad... The height of Butcher, Wright. England captain, indeed is not, it's the number seven, Gary Merritt. And a satisfied look on the bench, taken by Glenn Hollow, and at the other end it's his Tottenham teammate with a magnificent leap. Well, we spoke about set pieces and that they could be the thing that wins the match, and there's the first corner finishing in the... Iskovic curling it and just going wide. England's turn now to get plenty of players back behind the ball when Yugoslavia get possession and then to nick it away as Steve Hodge did there. Hollow now finding Waddle. Here's Beardsley. Linick has made a good break again. And the control right at the death let him down and Elsner was given just enough time to who's lost very little in the air but here's Scorer but he's got speaking there this Butcher Scorer with a shot and a good save really only the second time that Chris Woods has been called into serious action Svishkovic with it for Yugoslavia curled out there and knocked off the line by Steve Hodge the header from Baljic and England close to losing a goal right on the half-time interval. 
a wicked curling corner it was too. And there's the header from the fullback and Steve Hodge getting it away. Second half to breathe a little easier and to certainly make the burden of a visit to Belgrade next November a little more comforting. Well, here's Waddle. Little chip back and Lineker almost in there. Well, that was a great opening for England. Ball part in it. Whether he might have got a shot in himself, but he suddenly looked to get the ball across to Gary Lineker. And now Sanson going in. Good start to the second half this for England. Played back again for Hoddle. Crossed deep again towards the far post. And Lineker claims it was in, but the linesman and referee said no. Abbott now. Waddle. And then with this deep cross by Glenn Hoddle. And the keeper, a reaction save. Keeper. But, well, an England goal has come from them already tonight. There's another good corner coming in. Been in good form tonight, Hoddle. Another delightful ball played in for Beersley. Played for Waddle. And a good cross from him this time. And Anderson makes it two. Touch. Oh, and it might fall for the Yugoslavs. Vojevic has a chance here, but Vojevic, oh, and he's missed it. Well, England with sixes and sevens at the back. The flags go waving around as the Yugoslav hangs his head. Butcher's touch coming off Abbott. Right back pedals, but Vojevic, the skipper, is in. Woods can't cover it. He hurdles over him. The goal is gaping, and it goes wide. here at Wembley tonight, Slishkovic. It's a lovely weighted ball. Vojovic trying to chip the keeper. What a delightful ball, though, by the number 10. And Steve Hodge having already gone off. And England now facing a corner. And suddenly a little bit of a crisis here. The ball curled in. And it's won't just go in. Charged away again. First to the foul. The odds are that he's going to be on uh, pretty quickly. We will see how Baljic very nearly got the number three. Sanson on the line there. The pass is just not coming off for England at the moment. And here's Jankovic. And a chance now. Good save again by Woods. No time for Juric. Played in low. And Vojovic hitting the post. England escape again. Final whistle. A very important victory indeed for Bobby Robson's team. David McQuarrie of Newcastle United and David Campbell currently on loan from Notts Forest to third division Notts County. He's in midfield for his Spurs teammate Glenn Hoddle. The two changes forced upon manager Bobby Robson. Two milestones this evening. Arsenal's Kenny Sansom wins his 75th cap and is Terry Butcher's 50th appearance. So England set this game in motion playing in the white shirts from right to left.
Whiteside knocks it on. Campbell. Fleming. The space. Kevin Wilson. Worthington. Wilson. Good save from Shilton. So Worthington. Away by Robson. But here's Campbell. Worthington in. And wide of that goal mark. Good effort though from Nigel Worthington. So more pressure from England. And it goes. And that's in the net. It's Brian Robson. The long throw. Butcher won it. Robson in there. And it beat George Dunlop. After all that, it's with Waddle. Robson in space. The control good. And a good save in the end from Dunlop. Good play, though, from the England skipper. Beardsley. Wide is Waddle. Forward is Lineker. Waddle. The shot. And the goal. Two minutes before half time. And it's 2 0 to England. Always, it seems, he moves on to the left foot. There he goes. And the shot was perfect. Sansom trying to weave his way through. Lineker just too high. Dunlop has lost it. Robson, look at the space. Sansom. Peter Beardsley. The chip. Lineker. But the header straight at George Dunlop. And that trouble goes on behind the English goal. Worthington. And Northern Ireland pulls something out. And Dunlopy was oh so close. Danny Wilson. But well off cue. That's it. It's all over. Brian Robson. He put England in front with a goal in the 19th minute. <laughs>who beat East Germany so impressively in their last match. They're without their two first-choice strikers, but Erdahl plays in West Germany for Borussia Dortmund, and Bobby Robson is highly conscious of his pedigree. So Bobby Robson was able to choose the midfield he wanted, which means that Gary Mabbott plays at centre-back for the first time for his country. With now the England fans to a special section. Turkey are wearing red shirts and white shorts. The referee and the linesman are all from the Soviet Union. And away we go. England playing from left to right. Chris Waddle intercepting for England. Glenn Hoddle out on the left. This is floated towards Gary Lineker with the volley. So you can see that it's the red shirts of Turkey pushing forward a little bit here. And the shot really came in loose towards Hassan in the end. It was struck initially by Savash. Hodge knocking it back in. Anderson is there. And that volley... Robson up with the goalkeeper, Anderson, but a foul's been given. And it's Hoddle again. Clearance goes beyond Brian Robson, and now Turkey have a break on. Hassan is free on this side. Erdal has gone through the centre, and Iskender is forward here. This is Savash again. Goodness me, he can't buy them. The flags stay down, even though Viv Anderson appealed. 
and it was again Savash number 10 who hit the shot it was to say the least very disappointing Hodge Allen waiting in the centre and Lineker and Allen well this is the sign early in the second half that England are playing with rather more verve certainly getting the ball into the penalty area quicker anyway Rizar but here for Turkey is Iskender he's got Erdal up with him and Hassan Erdal and he's found a way through and a fine save by Chris Woods and Erdal almost puts Turkey in front Waddle, plenty of players forward here. Oh, and Allen's in there, and England have scored. No, they haven't. Lineker, here's Sansom. Oh, and just glanced across the face of the goal by Steve Hodge. Savash. And Anderson couldn't hold him either. And Hassan breaking again with Hassan. Razar. Semir. Erdal waiting in the centre. This is Savash again. Letting it run to Razar. That wasn't a bad effort either. The home team have now got their... Well, there are only 12 minutes to go. England have yet to score, but here's Mark Haitley. And Lineker's coming in from the far side. And how did he fail to convert that? Well, they were expected to score a few today. Robson, Waddle. And Haitley! Oh, a fine save. A really good save by Fatia. Holding England to a draw is almost like winning the World Cup for Turkey. And indeed, that's just what they've done. The whistle goes. time. Webb for Glenn Hoddle is one of five changes from the team beaten in West Germany and one of six from the England lineup held to a nil-nil draw in Turkey in April where their manager Mustafa Deniz Lee is the coach but number two Razar and number six Ali both play for Besiktas where Gordon Milne is now coaching by shortly. The news from Sarajevo means that England have not just got to win here tonight that's the first priority but they must go for goals. Stephen. It's got to come back to Stevens. Oh, a nice ball. And Webb. Changed direction there. Oh, and Barnes came in. What a start for England. Only a minute gone. John Barnes. But Neil Webb starts an international for the first time in great style. And have gone right to Trevor Stephen. But he went the other way and played a killer ball, really. And Barnes came in to be taken by Barnes. And in goes Butcher, hooked away. Only as far as Webb and planned by the Turks. Giving it away, Sansom. Oh, and Lineker, 2-0. England are two up in eight minutes the credit it was a bad pass out but his reaction was instant and so was Lineker's Webb did that beautifully and the ball is for Lineker who's missed it 
possibly hampered slightly by an injury. He got a Ali. Stephen got a foot in. Beardsley. Barnes to his right. Still Beardsley. Here's Barnes. Real chance. Yes. John Barnes gets his second and England's third. Fatir exposed again. And with 28 minutes gone, here's the third one. Beardsley made it beautifully, drew the two defenders. Out to Barnes. Lovely finish inside, in fact, off the near post. Lineker, oh, that's nicely done, and it's Webb who's furthest forward again. Here's Beardsley, shooting chance perhaps, yes there is, for Peter Beardsley. <laughs> Savash, Mohamed. Good move this by Turkey, this is Savash. Erhans joined the attack, and Peter Shilton has had to make two very alert saves in this first half. Run from left back, not covered. Robson's there, and he's still there, and Beardsley's also there, and Lineker must, Lineker must, and does. Turkey flat out for the count, and England make it four. Brian Robson's presence in the penalty area important here. He made the opening, the goalkeeper missed it, Beardsley crossed, Lineker's first shot scrambled away, the second one true to form in the back of the net. 43 minutes gone, Lineker two. Adams and Beardsley facing the kicker. Oh, and Webb. Oh, and it just possibly got a little touch there as it went through. I'm not so sure that Brian Robson wasn't in the middle of that. Neil Webb drove it, but I think it may have touched Brian Robson before it went in. Just watch this again. It comes out to Webb. He strikes it. Little flick from Robson, was it? It's 5-0 anyway. Now, behind the goal, we'll get a much clearer idea. Just keep your eye on number seven, Brian Robson. That's his goal. Here's Beardsley. They're closing in from the far side. Barnes. Oh, just over. But prepares to take the corner. Here's Hoddle. Stephen shoots. Oh, and the goalkeeper, lucky to see that, squirt away from Lineker. Robson. Yes, Lineker. Hoddle. Beardsley. Brilliant. Whatever the opposition, that's a quality goal at the end of an excellent England build-up. Hoddle floated it in, and Beardsley flicked it with his head into the net. The criticism after the West Germany defeat of just dug in a bit tonight as Robson plays the ball through to Lineker, and Lineker has scored another hat-trick for England. Robson supplied the pass, which bisected the defence, and Lineker has written his name all over another England performance. Another very good England move. Gary Stevens to Glenn Hoddle, going for the line, and there won't be a happier man tonight than Neil Webb, and what a good volley that was. It's made it 8-0. Well, England had Turkey bending over in the first few seconds and they then administered eight strokes of the cane. Three from Gary Lineker. <laughs>
e alla fine c'è stato l'ok okay dopo che il sopralluogo ha dato esito positivo partiti dunque gli attaccanti gli avversari un tentativo di controllo da parte di Zibegic e poi la palla che termina nel sacco e c'è un gol clamoroso in favore dell'Inghilterra porta la firma di Bersley siamo soltanto al terzo minuto del primo tempo e l'Inghilterra è andata in vantaggio per l'esultanza dei mille tifosi inglesi che hanno seguito c'è un intervento di Azibegic, un colpo di testa a seguire, in clamorosa l'incertezza difensiva, ne approfitta Besley che in scivolata mette la palla nel sacco, niente da fare per Azibegic che in realtà ha messo però in condizione il compagno di controllare e cedere poi a Raunic, ma c'è stato prontissimo la rimessa in gioco. Ancora rischia moltissimo la Jugoslavia con questo passaggio, tenta di... Al dodicesimo minuto sull'1-0 in favore dell'Inghilterra c'è questo calcio d'angolo, insistono i bianchi, c'è un contatto a ridosso del dischetto del rigore, poi un tiro. Neutralizzato anche questo tentativo di Lineker. Ed ecco l'intervento dell'arbitro Botro a fischiare un calcio di punizione. Ascolto. Ecco abbiamo fatto noi la cronaca di questi primi 17 minuti a te la linea in un momento caldo della partita Ti ringrazio, io ricordo ancora una volta il punteggio L'Inghilterra in vantaggio per 1 a 0 ed ha raddoppiato proprio in questo istante Nell'istante in cui è stato ripristinato il collegamento con Belgrado Siamo una finta calma, una finta freddezza Il gol è stato segnato da Farms un altro calcio d'angolo per l'Inghilterra in maglia bianca. La respinta di Elsner. Ancora una possibilità e un altro gol da parte della squadra inglese. Incredibile. Il terzo gol della formazione britannica. Fortunato in un precedente scontro con Lineker. E gol dunque da parte della squadra inglese. Il colpo di testa a respingere di Katanez. Un altro errore da parte della difesa jugoslava e il gol segnato da Brian Robson. Ancora Steven. In avanti in direzione di Webb. Una palla che filtra in aria, un altro tiro della squadra inglese di Lineker. Solo sul 3-0 per gli inglesi. Il colpo di testa è un altro gol, il quarto gol della squadra inglese che perfeziona questa impresa che possiamo considerare storica parte di Lineker ed è il quarto gol per la squadra in maglia bianca abbiamo la possibilità di assistere al replay ci ricordiamo hanno già segnato in precedenza Bersley, Barnes e Robson quadratura per il tabellone luminoso e per questo verdetto amarissimo l'uscita di pugno di Shilton il tiro di prima intenzione è ovvio Mlinaric, nuovamente fermato dagli inglesi che ripartono con Bersley, Barnes, Barnes in area e solo il tiro e la parata di Radaccia, un'altra grande maglia bianca, pronti per l'esecuzione del calcio di punizione Bazzarevic e Bocri, ha calciato Bazzarevic, ottima parata di Shilton. Palla in area per questo colpo di testa e finalmente per il gol del numero 4 Catanes. Rivediamo proprio questo gol, il gol con il quale la Jugoslavia accorta le distanze. Catanes. Questa è un'altra ripetizione dell'azione del gol da dietro la porta. Palla che è stata schiacciata sul terreno di gioco, 4-5 metri davanti a Shilton e il successivo, chiamiamolo così, pallonetto ha peffato il portiere inglese il calcio di punizione rimette in movimento il contropiede della squadra di casa per questa opportunità fra i piedi di Stajkovic il tiro e la palla che è stata anche deviata sulle distanze al 34esimo Catanes la partita sta per finire come vedete siamo in pieno recupero e finisce proprio in questo istante grande e sorprendente vittoria dunque